guys, back with another video, and today I will be talking about why to not get the iPhone 7 Jet Black. So, the iPhone 7 Jet Black, it is, well, the camera, um, the dual camera, uh, you probably won't believe me, you'll think I'm a liar, go ahead and say it in the comments, but I don't care, because it's true. So... Whenever you, so when you go to the iPhone 7, go all the way down and go to find the best iPhone for you. So you clicked on the iPhone. Click right here. Yeah, let me zoom in so you guys know what that is. Click the iPhone 7. Loading. And then you'll go down to here, find the best model for you. Click that. And then we'll make that the iPhone 7. iPhones. No, wait. iPhone 7. iPhone 7 Plus. Make that an iPhone SE. I don't know why I did that in here. I'll just make it easier. I will put you as a 6S. So that's the phone that I have right now. That 6S in gold. Sorry, did you guys see that kind of rainbow thing? Sorry about that. No, oh, oh, sorry, you can't. Ah! So, right now on the jet black, let me zoom in on the camera a lot. So, when you click on the matte black, go to the camera. Look, it gets bigger. When you go down, whoa, too, too much wider. When you click the jet black, get smaller. Hopefully you guys can see that. But when it comes to the iPhone 7, oh crap, okay there. On matte black, gets bigger. When it comes down here to jet black, gets bigger. Oh, yeah, bigger. And the iPhone 7 is smaller. So, that's why I don't get the iPhone 7 Plus in Jet Black. If you want to, go ahead. Tell me if you see a difference. I kind of did a little, but I really didn't see a difference. Except maybe the outside corners might look bigger. But... That's it for this video, and hopefully you like it, comment, subscribe, turn the bell icon on so you get notified of any videos. And like this, and give this video a thumbs up, and see if you can find an emoji, Bahama. Oh, never forget to peace out.